The Barry College Theatre Company is currently rehearsing for the upcoming musical Little Shop of Horrors. Richard Bristow, the director of the production, describes the preparation that has taken place since the start of the semester. So the first, the first two days were really, really productive. We got a lot of work done. And within the first week, we had the entire first act done, plus some of the big musical numbers in the second act. And then by the end of the second week, we had the show totally blocked. And the last week, we've been just working on running the show and, and letting the actors kind of get a feel for how the, how the play runs and how it feels to go from scene to scene and what transitions happen. And, and then we start adding all the technical elements and our lighting designer will come in this weekend and we'll put all the lighting and the set will be moving and so it's all, it's coming together and we're really excited. It's a, it's a rock and roll musical. The students really, really pushed for us to do this show and the the puppets are amazing uh, another woman on campus claire howard has designed and built all the puppets that we're using for the plant claire howard shares a little of her experience in crafting the puppets for the play i decided i would try using um, styrofoam blocks to build the big one with because it's so lightweight it's easy to move and I asked Seamus about it and he said, oh, you just need a chainsaw. So I took it to my house and there were huge chunks of styrofoam that were eight feet long and about three and a half feet thick. And that had to be carved with a chainsaw. So my old barn where I was doing this looks like it has snowed. It's like two feet deep in styrofoam, but um, it's so, <laughs> such a, a great medium to work with. Along with the puppets and the set pieces, the costumes for Little Shop are also handmade. Jo Beth Crump explains her responsibilities as the costume designer. It's a little different from the past productions that I've done. I um, designed all of the costumes, so from scratch, did the research, you know, late, um, late 1950s, early 60s, and then based it off of that and then built it up from there. And I'm also the craft artisan. But I, I dye the clothes and paint the clothes and do different things to them. Miss Alice is actually the shop manager, so she takes care of, um, you know, I go in for fittings, so I have to see if their fittings look right, but she's the one that's taking up the stuff. So she's actually technically, um, like, making the costumes. But I have to, like, say if it looks right or if it doesn't, if that's how I want it. Um, and then I take over from there doing all the distressing and color work and everything. Actually what helped this production a lot and just getting ready for this production um, was coming in a lot during Christmas break and like getting all of it done actually and picked out before school started and then we work on alterations from here from there on till now. Little Shop of Horrors begins showing February 13th at the E.H. Young Theater. With Viking Fusion News, I'm Ryan Warwick.